Ah, okay. Uh, in the cases that we have illustrated relative to uh, impossibility of performance in extinguishing an obligation to do, uh, it presupposes that the impossibility is something that is permanent. Na talagang wala na, imposible na ang mangyari yung magagawa yung obligation. Permanent yan. The issue is, what if the impossibility is temporary? Okay? So, what if the uh, uh, impossibility to fulfill is not something that is permanent, temporary, katulad ngayon, itong COVID quarantine natin, several debtor who are supposed to fulfill an obligation to do may be denied now from fulfilling it. But you will know that this obviously is not permanent. It is temporary. So what is the rule? Would the temporary impossibility of the fulfillment of an obligation to do extinguish the obligation? Okay. Now the rule would be uh, Temporary impossibility generally merely delays performance of the obligation but does not extinguish the same. So, it merely delays. Tulad ko, supposedly, totoo lang. Uh, I am excused at the moment from fulfilling this obligation to lecture, pero mahal ko kayo. Okay, okay lang. I enjoy it actually. As long as you send me your comments that will, you know, uh, perk up my enthusiasm. Diba? So, it does not extinguish the obligation. Except when, right, there is an agreement. So there was already a previous agreement that was entered into where the parties contemplated the possibility of, you know, the fulfillment of the obligation of one will be temporarily considered impossible. Oh, so they agree. Pag nangyari yan, kahit temporary lang, extinguish lang. Oh, I think that is number two. Okay. Where the performance of the obligation will have to be within a definite time. So, anong ibig sabihin nito? If, for example, my obligation to do is to be fulfilled within a one-year period, now, in that one-year period, there was what you call now a temporary impossibility. And the impossibility of this would be a duration for the remaining one-year period. So, wala na. <coughs> Extinguished na rin yan. Now, in this situation, <coughs> excuse me, the duration of the impossibility is determined. Alam. Oh, hanggang kailan impossible. The issue is, what if the duration is not Determined. Katulad ngayon. Extreme quarantine. Oh. We do not know when this would be lifted. Although we are certain that it is temporary. Oh, see? So, what now would be the effect on the obligation? So, yung general rule na binanggit ko presupposes that the duration of the temporary impossibility is determined. Pero, katulad ng ngayon, hindi natin alam eh. Although there has been a declaration that this quarantine okay, will only be up to April 14, but we are not certain. I mean, many are now predicting really the possibility of extending it for another four or six weeks. So, hindi natin alam. So, what now would be the rule? Okay. In this case, alright, if it is not known the duration 
of the impossibility, the obligation may be considered judicially impossible to perform, hence extinguished. Alright. So, pag napansin ninyo na ang tagal na nitong temporary impossibility ito, now, the debtor may ask now the court to have a judicial declaration of the impossibility of the fulfillment of the obligation to do. That will always be a sword, the head of, like, sword, the head of Democles. Anytime, pag natanggal yung impasir, buk, ulog. Eh, ang tagal na, parati ka na lang. So, pumunta ka na sa korte. Ang tagal naman na, alam natin na tempor, pero masyado nang matagal. Extinguish na. Now, the court will obviously declare judicial declaration of impossibility. So, it's not a factual uh, determination of impossibility. Okay? Now, note that once the court declares with finality that the obligation is extinguished due to impossibility, biglang naging possible. Walang niya. Nawala yung, yung, yung matter that, you know, uh, prevented the the possibility of the fulfillment. So, nawala yun kakad. Now, would that resurrect the obligation? Answer, no more. It will not resurrect. But take note, ha? There has to be a judicial declaration. Otherwise, if no judicial declaration, you cannot consider the obligation to have been extinguished. Alright? No.